What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to a brand new Liverpool transfer news video and in this video we will talk about a big update on the Coutinho to Liverpool potential transfer story because Barcelona have set very ambitious, very big transfer targets for themselves in the summer. They want to buy Lautano Martinez and Neymar and because of this those players will cost very very big amounts of money, very big transfer fees even after the financial crisis is over so they need to get as much money as possible from player sales and they will sell especially the likes of Coutinho who is considered as a misfit at Barcelona and Bayern Munich didn't exercise their option to buy Coutinho so let me know guys do you want Liverpool to buy Coutinho back? Do you want him to come to Liverpool on just a one-year loan or maybe um, a permanent transfer deal let me know and also what do you think will happen with uh, the summer transfer window in terms of will Liverpool still spend a big amount of money on or will they keep uh, waiting until uh, we see how much money Liverpool have left after this financial crisis and also what kind of financial situation will the football clubs be after the financial crisis is over so there are sources claiming that Liverpool who already received the majority of the payout from Barcelona for the Coutinho transfer they have still first refusal on Coutinho which means that they are the first club who can buy Coutinho if they want him to come back to Liverpool. Coutinho was in my opinion a legendary player at Liverpool. He scored 54 goals in 201 appearances for Liverpool uh, between 2012 and 2018. But now everybody is, so, is talking about Coutinho like a fallen big player who was just a shadow, who is just a shadow of himself. And of course we don't, we don't know uh, that Liverpool won't spend just for the sake of it we don't want to buy players just because we can we want to buy players who are actually useful to the football club and who are actually really really needed at the football club and that's a big question is Coutinho needed at Liverpool because Liverpool already have very very talented players coming through we have Harvey Elliott we have Curtis Jones we have we have Harry Wilson who is doing so well at Bournemouth and you, you might argue that we maybe should give those players playing time instead of buying Coutinho for 50, 57, 80, 50, 60, 70 million pounds and giving Coutinho 10 million euros per year is not a very good investment when you consider that Coutinho will be 28 years old very soon and you might say that maybe Coutinho will never rediscover his form. That's why I think it makes a lot more sense to buy Coutinho on a one-year loan with an option to buy. In that one year you can actually find out if Coutinho still has it and if Coutinho can perform at the same level or maybe even above that level where he used to perform at Liverpool because he was a world-class player at Liverpool but he is anything but a world-class player for Barcelona and for Bayern Munich. So it's very hard to judge if Coutinho comes back to Liverpool. Will he perform at the same level as he used to in the Premier League or he is not worth that amount? But I think Barcelona want to see money for Coutinho right now or at least in the summer. They don't want to keep loaning him out because his value is just deteriorating further and further each season as Coutinho fails to really perform at the world-class level. And the Express and the Mirror newspapers are both reporting that Liverpool will miss out on an additional £35 million if Coutinho leaves Barcelona this summer because Liverpool are still expecting to receive an, an additional payday because of per performance-related add-ons in Coutinho's Barcelona contract. It's basically, the reason for this is that Coutinho only played one season at Barcelona and there are clauses in his contract where he needs to hit a certain amount of games to play, he needs to see hit a certain amount of uh, goals scored and after that Barcelona will have to pay the full amount of that 142 million pounds but at the moment this is another incentive for Barcelona to just move on Coutinho at any cost and also Chelsea and even at clubs like Everton and Tottenham are linked with Coutinho 
So if he doesn't come to Liverpool, he might go to another club. And I will be honest, if he doesn't come to Liverpool, I still want to see Coutinho in the Premier League because I would love to see how he does in the Premier League. Can he still perform at that level? And I don't think Coutinho is a major threat to Liverpool's title hopes, even if he signs for a club like Chelsea. I don't think Coutinho pushes Chelsea to title contender's status. Coutinho only played 55 matches so far for Barcelona and Liverpool will receive around £20 million in bonuses just if Coutinho plays 100 games for Barcelona and he could reach that next season if he stays at Barcelona but I don't think so I don't think he will and that means that Liverpool might miss out on that big big money and this is what Coutinho said about Liverpool actually Liverpool are flying and it doesn't surprise me we have seen it already last year when they won the Champions League but I'm also not surprised because of their fantastic squad and manager I am so happy for them because I have so many friends there former teammates so I'm just so happy for them but that's all I don't look back I took another path and now I am on another journey much like everyone else I'm focused entirely just like them on reaching my dreams I'm happy with what I did in the past and now I can only full look forward so that's an interesting take by Coutinho but I don't think he would ever publicly admit that he regrets leaving Liverpool maybe only in his autobiography after he hang up, he hang up his boots and even at Bayern Munich where I, I really thought that if, if Coutinho can't succeed at Barcelona he will succeed at Bayern Munich because they have world-class players and the system that even more maybe dominates games in the Bundesliga than Barcelona dominates games in La Liga but Bayern have really struggled also to find a position for Coutinho that works within the framework of their best starting 11. Coutinho has played high and wide on the right in a deep lying center role as a classic number 10 and in his preferred slot shuffled into the left hand side in the half space. So he played in like four or five positions operating as an advanced playmaker and that spark is still lacking in Coutinho's game. Yes he scored goals, yes he got assists but most of his goals came against the bottom half of the Bundesliga and in the big games he, he really tried but mainly failed and it doesn't come naturally for Coutinho anymore. It looked like at Liverpool that he was a natural at dribbling, shooting, scoring uh, in the best moments and now it, it looks and feels a little bit forced and Coutinho even hired a personal trainer according to the Build newspaper for private sessions all outside the team training just to rediscover his old form, rediscover the spark and the, for the large part, the most part of the season it, uh, it really hindered Bayern Munich more than it, it helped him and he had helped Bayern Munich his team because his dribble success rate is only at around 50% and also he's losing the ball on 19% of Bayern Munich's possessions like unbelievable number for someone of Coutinho's reputation who, have such, who has such great coast control, dribbling ability, movement and he still loses like 20% of Bayern's possessions, he loses the ball, incredible and it was a quite similar story at Barcelona as well and it, it was downright painful to watch sometimes him even in a Bayern shirt, not just in a Barcelona shirt and it looks like he's like half the player that he used to be playing for Liverpool at the peak of his powers Coutinho averaged over three passes leading to a shot per 90 minutes, one of the best indicators of a player really delivering and producing goods in the final third. That number came down to 2.5 with Barcelona and now it's only 1.9 with Bayern Munich this season. His lowest point since his first run as a full-time team, full -time starter in the Premier League in 2014. Wow! And it's very sad to say about a 27 year old that his past was his best because he should be right now hitting his peak at 27 28 that's where a midfielder should be at his absolute best in his football career but it looks like Coutinho is already past it 
he maybe reached his best in his last Liverpool season in, at 25 years old. And this is all a big shame because his production with Bayern this year is balanced between his best and his worst. His underlying numbers have tumbled, his output numbers, goals and assists have increased a little bit since his Barcelona days. But part of that is that the team he is playing in, they are the best team in the Bundesliga. But it's also evidence that there's a quality player in there. Coutinho hasn't been the reason Bayern Munich have turned things around under Hans-Dieter Flick, the new manager after a rough start to the season under Niko Kovac, but he's certainly been a positive influence, someone who can create something special out of nothing. But for Liverpool fans, Coutinho has become a symbol of fun. Basically, he's the guy who left and straight away we won the Champions League. Who thought he could have it better elsewhere? Who left the the Klopp revolution before it could fully take uh, hold? Since he's left, Liverpool have won the Champions League, played in another final, and he, they are the Premier League champions elect. There is an element of uh, like happiness in the fan base to see Coutinho fail while Liverpool are succeeding, but I'm not in that camp. I would love to bring back Coutinho. If it's only a one year loan, if that makes financial sense, I would just love to bring Coutinho back and to fight for the Premier League title just for one season with Coutinho in the team. And we will keep fighting for the Premier League title for the next three or four seasons, but I would love to see just Coutinho come in for one season and have a shot at uh, winning the Premier League with Liverpool. I think that would be a dream come true, not just for Coutinho, but for many Liverpool fans as well. And David Maddock gave a very extended interview for a newspaper and a website where he said this about Liverpool's transfer window. It's n absolutely probably not in my interest as a journalist on a national newspaper, to be honest with you. Uh, as I'm about to do and say this, but but hell to hell with it. Anyone who tells you right now they know exactly what will happen in the transfer market are either lying or a bit foolish. Look, here's the truth. The global crisis has changed the landscape of the transfer market absolutely for this summer and almost certainly well beyond that. So yeah, clubs like Liverpool who do a lot of work beforehand on transfers, maybe even sometimes two years in advance, We'll have targets singled out for this summer. Clearly Timo Werner was one of them, but any fee discussed will now have to be reconsidered in the light of uh, the market shifting and the transfer fees shifting, the whole economy shifting. That's not me saying that it's the me main people at the biggest clubs who are saying that in Europe. Any executive who commits to a 100 million, 50 million or even a 25 million pound deal right now would be insane. It would be financial irresponsibility of the worst kind. Clubs will wait, they will see how they are affected by the transfer market, they will see where the market's at and then they will start discussing transfer fees. So very few deals are done at the moment. With all that in mind, instead of giving you a name that is probably irrelevant, I, I will give you one I would like to see Liverpool sign and it's a former player. I really like Connor Cody at Wolves. He's a terrific, terrific fellow, great character, wise talker and a bloody good footballer too. You don't get to be captain of Wolves under Nuno Espirito Santo without being a top class defender. I would love to see him go back to Anfield and I expect, suspect deep down he would love to see that as well. But I admit it's improbable if not impossible. Yeah, I would love to bring Coroner Cody back. He is a Liverpool Academy graduate who is now excelling at Wolves and he went all the way uh, down to the to League One, then the Championship and then he fought himself back into the Premier League, which is pretty awesome and I'm, I'm pretty happy for him. And yeah, I would love to see Conor Cody back at Liverpool, but the big question is would Liverpool sign him back? I'm not sure if we are interested in him, but he would be a great replacement for Dejan Lovren. Speaking of Lovren, he said this, at Liverpool we are always hungry and we'll stay hungry. Once you try a good meal, you want to try it again. You don't stop. This is what is pushing us. We want to show to everyone what we are capable of. It's a learning process, Lovren said. The core 
of the team is here, starting from the manager. He did a great job here from the beginning. He showed everyone that he has the abilities and the skills and he knows how to manage the team in bad moments and in good moments. We didn't stop work, that's the main point. We stayed hungry. We are always hungry and we will stay hungry. It's important to have a mix between really young players, the middle uh, aged players and the experienced players. I think we have it, this is the great balance. We are used to playing big finals and the big games and we know how, it, how to manage it. Even when we are 1-0 down and we know what to do, this is why it's important to have a balance in the team. If we keep the important players and the core of the team for many years, we will only grow and get better. And Lovren spoke about the current situation in football and he said this, it's a tough moment for everyone. The only thing we can do is stay at home, listen to the advice of the government. Everyone knows how the NHS is working hard for us, so we should appreciate the people on the front line. A really, really good insight by Lovren on the mentality of uh, Liverpool players. And uh, even if Lovren leaves, uh, he will forever be in the Liverpool history books as a player who helped Liverpool win the Champions League and the Premier League. Alisson is also back training uh, individually after a hip injury. And I also heard that Liverpool are considering restarting training in the middle of May or maybe at the end of May in preparation for the restarting or the resuming of the Premier League season but that's still in the balance at the moment I think it's too early to talk about that but I still wanted to to mention that uh, I think it's interesting that that Liverpool will start training maybe in May is it the right decision I'm not sure I really hope that we don't take any unnecessary risk so because the last thing we want is somebody from Liverpool getting uh, the, the the illness at the moment so I wish I really wish that we are very careful with this situation and that's it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching see you later guys Goodbye.